Hello guys, and from all here. And today I want to talk about my caution with Dragon Age Valadar. Let's start off with my first word and my stupidity I have seen for, for, from a marketing decision. This is stupid. The stupid reason. Why did they spoiler the game and the Game of Portal cover magazine? This is one of the most integral parts of the game. It is integral to the game. It's so integral to the game. The first hour where it sets up the store and you're gonna spoil it in a game informer cover magazine who made that decision like could, who made that decision kingdom hearts 3 had the same issue where in the xbox event they they spoiled a huge part of the game it doesn't matter the first 10 minutes the first 10 minutes tells gives you an experience with the rpg the first 10 minutes matter the first 30 minutes matter the first hour matter in rpg because it is a make it or break it. And you have the potential to spoil that. The mystery of that as intrigue. Intrigue adds hype and hype adds sales. It's very massive. Why does it spoil that way? I don't know. I'm gonna get into it. So skip to this section. Skip to this section right here. If you don't wanna see the spoilers. The spoiler is basically soil get, your blood gets mixed with the ritual. Soil get a soul, a soil. Solus gets trapped in the veil. He releases blighted when got from the Elven Pantheon because he was trying to transfer them. That just doesn't spoil that. That spoils a lot of shit. That would mean that would mean the blight does not come from the Elven uh, Elven people. Why is the blight in, inside there? Why did they get blighted? Like it, it adds so many questions, and you don't want to spoil it that way. It doesn't make sense. And the uh, the Elven got you because you messed up. Well, Elganon and Gilanon, that's the father of the elves, whatever it's called, and the hog, the hollow keeper of the elves. Now we're facing those, and you spoiled that. Why? Literally, why? That is one of the biggest, that is one of the. It. I don't know what to say. Okay, continuing on. This is now into non, the non-spoiler section. My second word is probably a massive one. And this might sound very weird. I don't per se gonna like all the characters are romanceable. Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age Condition did it better. Because it gives... You can't have another Dorian type character if you can rom romance them all. It removes, it removes the element of replayability. There's... It's like the reason why... Scott Harding was so cool and so lovable was because you couldn't romance her. Was that fact that you couldn't romance her? Was that factor that you could be a good friend to her as a male? And there's no romantic tension behind that. Morrigan, there was a plot device to it. That there was something to it. And you can't do it with a female character. And that was the most amazing part of it. I feel it's going to reduce the storytelling capabilities by me. And I could be wrong here. My favorite character. One of my favorite characters is Siri from Andromeda. Because her R. It's beautiful. Where she believes in the higher power. Where you can only romance her as a female. It's And you can become a great friend to her as the male writer or it to be real it's gonna have a delicate hand my third one is part of the romance system because if, if what they're saying your companions can get with other people if you don't romance them what i'm worried about what my worry is is it random who they get because if it's random that's that's doing a low blow because if it's random it does not matter at the end of the day if it's random it does not matter in the overall storytelling and future in ent entries in the game in the game or the next dragon it does not matter and that's the biggest takeaway it won't matter if it's random who they get with if it's they get with this person if you don't get with this one and it's every single place that does that that's fine that's perfect like the iron board Dorian situation but let's say let's let's say iron Bull gets with gets with let's say cassandra it does not make sense randomly he gets he gets with him randomly. It it won't make sense if it's random. Uh, companions get together. That does not make sense if it's randomly companions get together. It does not make sense. It seems weird. It seems boring because it's not a well crafted story like how they're saying. Because if they say it's well crafted story, that means each companion 
has a designated romance partner if you don't if you don't romance that romance partner my fourth worry in the banter system in inquisition it was absolutely a horrid annoying where every 15 minutes was thrown to 5 to 10 15 with no interruptions the banter would trigger if you're in a battle or the records are obviously to get you goodbye it can cut off and you missed it and this is you have five hours of banter five hours of banter in inquisition five hours and 30 minutes excuse me and every banter dialogue takes around 10 to 15 seconds like you literally have to download a mod in inquisition to even deal with it like it has to be good it has to trigger in a good and concise way if it doesn't ish if it doesn't ish yeesh. it needs a better banter trigger system or allow us to custom customly trigger it dragon age valgar is a game i'm cautiously excited for because it can make or break this uh this studio because it's it we're either going to get another andromeda type of situation where it's good but not bioware quality and it has nothing to do with the art style it has nothing to do with the art direction it's, it's gonna be everything you do how they crafted the story i hope my, i really hope my words are unsubstantiated and i hope the game delivers a hard hitter in the year of 2024 this is the end for a moment let's go dreadwolf i mean no, no. my bad i mean no, no. i mean no, no.